Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, I'm going to come on and do a demo. Uh, I've had this guitar for about a year now, um, but this is my um, Kramer Pacer Classic. Uh, I actually, actually already replaced the uh, bridge pickup with a uh, Seymour Duncan um, Alternative 8. So, um, what you're hearing in the bridge position is the Alternative 8, not the stock pickups. Just kind of wanted to give you a up on that, but I wanted to do a, a guitar review because I hadn't had the chance to do a review on it, and I um, thought it was a good, good, nice guitar for the money, it was a nice guitar to mod, so uh, without further ado... <laughs> Alternative 8 I really like. It's uh, kind of a very even response pickup. Uh, the mids aren't too high, the treble's not too high, the bass isn't too high, everything's just kind of even, which is kind of how it's described. Uh, it sounds really good, particularly live. I don't really like it so much uh, recorded, because recorded, I, I don't know, for whatever reason, I kind of like a little bit of a lower mid bump, and but also kind of scooped maybe a little bit. And, uh, the high up, I don't know, a little, little bit of the scooped mids, but kind of like an upper mid, middle bump, um, mid bump, and then kind of like a little more lows and highs, and just kind of scooped a little bit, um, and that's not what this is. But live, it sounds fantastic. Uh, this has actually been both my kind of, I used two guitars live, this is one of them. Um, it was cheap. Uh, I think I paid 300 for it, I got it on sale. Um, for musician's friend at, uh, last Christmas, and I had a bunch of gift cards. Uh, I paid three hundred and then ninety dollars for the pickup or whatever. So for like four hundred bucks, this was my like brand new gigging axe. Uh, the body is mahogany, at least so it says. Uh, the neck is two piece maple. Um, the one thing, the fretwork was nice, but these frets are kind of like medium. They're not even like jump medium jumbo. They're just medium frets. Let me see if I can get these on the. They were just kind of medium, so they're a little short. Um, the neck radius is very flat. I think it's 16 all the way up, so um, it's nice for single note stuff. For like. <laughs> um, the cord up here, it's not as round, so a little tough, but not you know not too bad. Um, and or maybe it's a 12 inch radius all the way. I don't know. It's okay. It it, it works out. Um, there's just no, like, the, you get a lot of wood underneath, which is okay because it's maple and it's kind of a smooth maple. Um, I've played it a bunch so you can kind of see there's a little bit of dirt under there. Um, but it plays great. It sounds really good, as you can tell, because I replaced the pickup. Um, the original pickups that came with it are actually, uh, were Epiphone, um, Omnico 4 pickups. So, if you've played, like, the Gibson, the, Ep the, the Epiphone, Les Paul stuff, that's kind of, that's pretty much what they sound like. It was a little not hot enough, at least the bridge wasn't hot enough for metal. Um, so I wanted to replace that. Was kind of, I wanted to do it right off the bat. I kind of ordered the, the, both the pickup and the guitar together because I knew uh, I was going to rip out the bridge because I wanted to take this out live because it's not, you know, if something happened to it, I wouldn't be so upset I didn't pay that much for it. You know, replacing it wouldn't be, wouldn't be as bad or as heartbreaking or, I don't know, I'm not even replacing it. I might just take, you know, whatever insurance I could get out of it or whatever. So, um, the trim is just a Kramer branded Floyd Rose. And it's uh, it stays in tune really well, actually. 
Um, it's uh, it's a candy apple red. The finish is actually really nice. And uh, the finish is actually really nice. And um, you know, couldn't find any finish flaws or anything like that. Um, just just overall, a great guitar for like you know, if you can get it on sale, you can get it around 300 bucks. And uh, I think that's really kind of uh, kind of a steal for this type of guitar. <laughs> I'll let you hear what the clean sounds sound like. This is the stock neck pickup, so. sweet like that um, you know it gives that like nice clean tones uh, it doesn't break up too easily and this is a Mesa Doric and they're known for kind of breaking up in the clean channel but even if I hit it kind of hard it doesn't really break up kind of stays clean smooth. Um, the, the tuners are, are solid, just, just as good as everybody else's stock tuners. The, the uh, Kramer Floyd I've actually been really impressed with. It stays in tune really well. The nut's been really good. When you lock it down, it just everything's locked in. Um, action and setup were really nice. The fretwork was pretty good. Uh, you know, uh, the fret stuck out of the edges a little bit. I had to kind of kind of knock off the sharp ends because once it got cold, the, the frets kind of stuck out and were kind of sticking me a little. But uh, it's warmed up a little bit and in, in addition to having knocked off the fret ends, it's uh, it's it's a little bit nicer now. So um, anyway, we we'll play out. Uh, but uh, that's the uh, the Kramer Pacer Classic with the uh, upgraded um, Seymour Duncan Alternative Eight. As I bash the guitar's headstock, um, upgraded Seymour Duncan Alternative Eight, which is a pretty cool pickup. So check it out. Just wanted to do a little demo here. And as always, rock on, guys. <laughs> Thank you. 